Growing Michigan's population. The governor launches a new effort to make people want to stay in Michigan and move to Michigan. This was top of mind on Mackinac Island today as state, business, and community leaders come together for the policy conference. Now, the census shows Michigan saw the second slowest population growth in the entire country over a decade. Devin Skillian live on Mackinac Island for us tonight with a plan to reverse this trend. Good evening, Devin. Well, Karen and Kimberly, uh, a good start maybe would just be showing a lot of people this view on this day. <laughs> it is another spectacular day, one of the best we've ever had uh, for the policy conference here. This conference is always focused on growth, whether it's business growth, uh, growing in education. But this time around, it is a much more explicit marching order from Governor Whitmer to grow the state's population. And that included today her announcement of a kind of t task force that she's appointed to try to figure out ways to grow the state. It's one of the reasons why I love the theme of this year's conference, the power of and, because this is going to take all of us working together. The governor is establishing the Growing Michigan Together Council. It's a bipartisan duo leading the council. Republican John Ricolta, former ambassador and the CEO of Walbridge, and Shirley Stancato, a Democrat currently on the Wayne State Board of Governors. They worked together for years at New Detroit, inspiring community conversations about race. Now they tackle a different problem. John and I learned through the years to focus on the issues and in focusing on the issues and focusing on the things that we have in common, we can really, really, really make a difference. And our demography is stagnant. We are 50th out of 51 states in the D.C., uh, uh, Washington, D.C., in terms of population growth, and that has to change. The challenges are many. We are underperforming as a state in K-12 through education. Our aging infrastructure is struggling to keep up. And most important to me is we lack the cohesion, the cultural cohesion that it takes to compete on a global basis today. Quentin Messer, the head of the MEDC, remains confident that climate is going to continue to help Michigan build a better future as it continues to challenge so many other places. We see real temperature rising. I also think that people are beginning, and, and insurance companies, there are going to be places that are going to be very difficult to get affordable home insurance. And that's going to dictate where people are going to live. A lot of people here still believe that our power card remains in our location and, of course, all of the spectacular water that surrounds this state, the biggest, biggest pile or bucket of fresh water anywhere in the world. After that announcement about the council being appointed, the governor also today appointed the state's first ever chief growth officer. It's Hillary Doe, and as near as we can tell, she's the first growth officer ever appointed, in fact, by any state, but the orders are clear in a state that really is struggling to grow as fast as uh, so many of those states are. Quick note about uh, coming up tonight at 11. Fascinating conversation today with former Congresswoman Liz Cheney. It has been uh, really the talk of the hotel today, my conversation with her, coming up when you join us tonight for Local 4 News at 11. Till then, Devin Skillian at the Grand Hotel on Mackinac Island, Local 4. Karen and Kimberly, back to you. We're looking forward to that interview. All right, thanks so much, Devin. Appreciate it. Yeah.